You can iterate not just on jQuery elements, but also on any items. For example, if you wrap an array of fruits, you can iterate over each fruit by just passing it. And the cool thing about each is that you can stop iteration if you use a synchronous callback. For example, let's print the fruit. Right now it iterates over all fruits. But if, for example, we pass the index or we take the index from the arguments I each passes to you, then we can say, okay, this is the fruit. And if the index is, let's say, 2, that means at orange, we can stop by returning false. Otherwise, let's log the fruit like this. And you can see that it printed apples, bananas to the command log, and it stopped iteration when it reached the third element with index 2. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't work when you have multiple commands, especially the commands that click and wait. So let me take my previous test, and what I will try to do, I will say, okay, if you click on a button and then invoke text and convert the text to number, then return false if it's number seven. Okay, notice right here, it right now keeps clicking. It had seven, but it continues iterating. Why is that? Well, I'm printing the console log message right inside of each. And notice the weird thing. So we have 16 buttons at the beginning. And notice what happens right away. It actually prints console log 16 times right when it starts. Hmm. This is how Cypress operates. It skews up all its commands, everything it sees, and then starts executing. So when you execute get each, and when we call back, it queues up the callback commands for each button already. So you cannot stop because those commands are already in the queue. If you really want to stop it, you'll have to watch my next video.